investors, not retail investors, um, pulled their funds, um, uh, pulled their funds out. The 2010 reforms um, are desirable. They go some of the way. But I would say that they're, they're not enough. And I think if you look uh, at the recent uh, experience with the uh, European sovereign debt crisis, what we saw was a similar event that happened. Um, it, not, as, not as extreme. Uh, the run was not as quick. Uh, it was more a trot. Um, what we saw, though, was, again, uh, funds increasing their risk and their exposure to uh, Euro Eurozone banks. Uh, and when the crisis escalated in last summer, uh, what we saw was large withdrawals from those funds. Those had, large imp those had implications for the foreign banks, which are the main um, uh, users uh, uh, of the money funds. Uh, they're, they're the main issuers into the money funds as the foreign banks. And that created a dollar funding problem for them which spilled over and I think has affected uh, the ability of those banks to make loans to U.S. firms and other companies that uh, need dollar funding. Um, I'd also say that the liquidity requirements um, uh, as part of that fund also kind of get in, um, uh, are at cross purposes with other efforts that are um, in place to try to get U.S. banks to fund themselves on a more, lo more long-term basis. If you require money funds to hold short-term paper, uh, that means that banks are going to be issuing more short-term paper, and part of what we're trying to do is get banks to fund themselves in a more stable way as well. Mr. Kopp and Mr. Fox, what impacts 